deal with record high inflation, finding a place to live for an affordable price is proving harder for both home buyers and renters. So last night, county council members proposed a bill that would make certain housing more affordable in Anne Arundel County. New at six, our Caroline Forback is on your corner in Annapolis. She tells us why that bill now being sent back to the drawing board. He worked two jobs and he still couldn't keep up with the rent. It's an experience many Anne Arundel County residents can relate to. I live in a studio apartment right now in Eastport. I've been living there for about four years now. I have two children. It is hard. According to data from Apartment List, the average rent in Anne Arundel County has increased over 22% since 2018. For a two bedroom, $4,750. That is a lot of money. The Essential Worker Housing Access Act was drafted by County Executive Stuart Pittman. It would have required developers of large scale building projects to make 15% of units affordable for renters earning $62,000 a year or less. Before the vote, some residents like bus driver Louise Sherrix argued the bill is a necessary step to addressing the housing crisis. You know, people come in from Baltimore County to drive a bus and they can't afford to live here. Others argue the county should allow for more building to increase supply rather than mandating developers block off a number of units. We could actually open that up if we just changed our zoning regulations. Democrat Allison Pickard shared that sentiment when she joined the three Republican council members in voting no, killing the bill. That the best way forward is to complete an affordable housing and land use analysis. After the vote, County Executive Stuart Pittman released a statement calling the outcome a slap in the face to the large part of our workforce that is priced out of most new homes and apartments being built today. In his statement, County Executive Stuart Pittman says he will will instruct his staff to find other ways to encourage developers to build more affordable housing in Anne Arundel County. Reporting in Annapolis, Caroline Forback for WJZ. Caroline, thank you.